A great news for Liverpool ahead of the clash with Sheffield, as the main star is back in training. Liverpool, Manchester United and Arsenal are all interested in the pound 35 million rated star. Klopp is set to unleash the pound 86 million rated star against Sheffield United. Speak up, Reds fans. Welcome to your news channel of the greatest and best club in the world. Liverpool and Manchester United are interested in acquiring Bayer Leverkusen's defender, Jeremy Frimpong, at the end of this season. According to a report from Football Insider, the 23-year-old youngster is a target for both Premier League clubs, with Arsenal also keeping an eye on him. Frimpong has stood out for the German club this season, tallying 11 goals and 11 assists in all competitions. His potential signing would be a quality addition for all three English Premier League clubs, and it will be interesting to see where he decides to play. At Liverpool, although Trent Alexander-Arnold is the starting right back, there are speculations that he could shift to midfield in the near future, opening up space for Frimpong. Meanwhile, at Manchester United, he could be an upgrade over Aaron Juan Bissaka, who has been linked with a possible exit from Old Trafford. Arsenal is also interested in the player, as they have frequently used Ben White at right back. But Frimpong could offer a more natural option and add a new dimension to the team's attack in the future. The opportunity to join a top Premier League club would be very tempting for the young defender, who could take the next step in his career in the summer. With a £35 million release clause in his contract, the three English clubs certainly have the financial means to activate it. What do you, as a fan, think about the potential signing of Jeremy Frimpong? Do you think Liverpool should pay £35 million? Share your opinion with us! Sports coach Ruben Amorim is in contention for the position at Anfield, and recent statements suggested that the Reds would face competition from Barcelona. Sport now brings the latest news on the La Liga team's stance regarding the Liverpool coach's target. Like Klopp, Xavi Hernandez has announced that he will leave camp now after this season. The Catalan club is trying to convince him to stay, while their sporting director, Deco, works behind the scenes to find Xavi's successor. Allegations in Portugal indicate that Deco is pleased with Amorim's playing style at Sporting, similar to Barcelona's. However, Sport claims that the 39-year-old coach has been ruled out due to lack of experience at higher levels and the high cost to hire him. Amorim began his coaching career at Casa Pia in 2018 and then went on to SC Braga before joining Sporting in March 2020. His contract with the Lions runs until 2026 and has a 20 million euros clause for clubs outside Portugal. Barcelona is not willing to pay that, and Sport states that the Spanish giants believe he is on his way to Liverpool to replace Klopp. Amorim is aware that Liverpool is willing to negotiate with Sporting. The focus is to finish the season with the Lions, who are leading the table and have reached the final of the Portuguese Cup on May 26th, the last game of the season. Therefore, the coming weeks could be crucial for Liverpool and the coach to make a final decision. Jurgen Klopp confirmed a significant increase in the number of injuries for the team, as Curtis Jones returns to training ahead of the clash with Sheffield United. Klopp provided updates on the injuries of several players before Sheffield United's visit, raising hopes for the Reds to secure their 21st league win of the season. He confirmed that midfielder Curtis Jones is ready to make his long-awaited return from injury. The 23-year-old Jones has not played since suffering an ankle sprain during Liverpool's 4-1 victory over Brentford in February. Klopp gave the good news that the star midfielder is back in training. Additionally, Klopp also provided updates on the injuries of other players such as Diogo Jota, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Alison Becker. He told reporters, Curtis is training. He's in contention. Yeah, that's it. The boys are fine. Diogo and Trent are back in group training. But it looks like it will be next week, hopefully, in parts of team training. No, Ali, he looks fine. But also mentally, next week he will be part of team training. Klopp insisted that Curtis won't be able to play the full 90 minutes immediately, as players need some time to regain momentum after a long injury spell. Jones is expected to feature against Sheffield United, but he will likely be a substitute. If he gets some minutes, he could start against Manchester United. Alexander-Arnold, Jota and Allison are also not far away, and we hope they can play significant roles in the title race. Cody Gakpo is expected to be included in the lineup against Sheffield United. Gakpo has been comparatively effective this season, being utilized in various roles but perhaps a bit of a victim of his own versatility, unable to reach the form expected by the fans. 
He has shown tactical flexibility that would impress even James Milner. And throughout it all, he has scored 13 goals in his first full season at the club, starting in 25 games. Additionally, the 24-year-old player is among the top attackers in Europe's top five leagues in key metrics, such as key passes, completed passes, progressive passes, progressive carries, successful receptions, and tackles per 90 minutes. However, his on-field performance has been lacking, especially in the loss to Manchester United, where he received a low rating. To succeed at Liverpool and compete with high-level forwards like Nunez and Mohamed Salah, Gakpo needs to demonstrate his impact as a starter. Although he has shown glimpses of it, he needs to solidify his role as a player who strengthens the team. However, it will be difficult to secure a prominent role towards the end of the season if he doesn't prove his worth, especially against Sheffield United. Nevertheless, Gakpo, now valued at £86 million, has shown his ability to step up when it matters so it cannot be ruled out that he will return to his best form.